guys. I'm Curry. He's Gabriel. We're from Roberts Bushcraft. Have you ever had your MMS bivy fall on your face while you're sleeping? If you have, hit that subscribe and like button because we've been there. And uh, we've come up, or Dad has really, come up with a $1 solution to this problem. Let's jump right into it. Secret weapon. Weapon X. Here is the IBC, Improved Bivy Cover, currently used by the United States Marine Corps. Now, as you'll notice, it's got a beautiful coyote brown color. And this is our go-to bivy. Dad and I absolutely love this thing. It really is the perfect setup. Now, of course, you could always argue, you could have a little more space, it could be a little wider, it could be a little longer. But all in all, this is the best bivy we have ever had the pleasure of using. Now, you'll notice uh, one of the problems with the older MMSS was that the bivy just kind of rests on your face. There's really nothing to keep it off of your face in the middle of the night. Well, the Marine Corps figured this out with this new improved bivy cover. As you'll see, it's got these wires in here. You can actually see them right there. This is a very flexible material, but it doesn't give too much. These wires allow you to be able to shape this hood up in a fashion that will keep it off of your face. And this is beautiful because, of course, nobody wants just a piece of material sitting on your face while you're sleeping. Now, I mentioned the MMSS. Here it is in all its glory. Woodland camo. You'll notice no, no rods, no... Uh, holes nothing to keep this thing off your face simply you just throw it over you velcro right on the back here and this is actually a pretty effective system because it still allows for good ventilation of the condensation and things like that but the only problem is it rests on your face well folks dad has come up with a simple one dollar mod or even free if you're a little handy, and uh, Dad will get into that. But $1 mod to keep this thing off of your face. It also deals with the problem of where do you put your boots when you're sleeping in a bivy. If you don't have a tarp set up, or uh, if it's you know, raining outside, you don't want to just set your boots out there in the elements. You need to get them protected, get them put away. So, $1 mod, let's jump into it. And we had a subscriber comment on one of our uh, videos that the bivy we were using was too small. Now I'm going to kind of paraphrase here because I don't recall exactly what the comment said, word for word. But uh, he said that the uh, bivy we were using was too small and there was no room for your boots. Well, that reminded me of a mod that I came up with for the bivy that actually utilizes the boots. So 
So guys, you always, you know, of course, the least amount of dirt that you can get in your bivy is, you know, what's optimal, obviously. Just using a pine branch here, one end for the mud, other end just kind of knock off all the all the rest of it. Uh, one thing that you could do is use plastic bag. You could even use like uh, if you have a, like a, a tarp set up or something, you could use the bag. You know that's your you normally know, store your tarp in to uh, just cover up one of these boots. What he's saying is going to make a lot of sense here in just a moment. Gabriel is inside of this bivy now. And as you can see, it's completely closed up. And one thing with this, you notice the uh, uh, top of the bivy here laying right on my face. Well, it, it would be, obviously I'm, I'm rolled over. And uh, that can cause multiple problems. Uh, excessive buildup of condensation especially you know, if you're coming in contact with the material that the condensation is getting built up on, uh, that can, uh, can really introduce a lot of problems, especially if you're below freezing temperatures or at freezing temperatures. When you get the bivy off your face, you increase airflow, which helps reduce condensation. So now the reason you clicked on this video, how are we able to get the boots inside of this bivy and keep the bivy off my face? Well, <laughs> the one dollar hack. <laughs> Pool noodle from Dollar Tree. Pool noodle from Dollar Tree. Guys, this thing is, I mean, it's lightweight, obviously. It adds extra flotation to your pack. And we're big fans of making your backpack a flotation device. And it's cheap. Guys, chances are you probably have one of these just laying around the house. I mean, the kids aren't going to miss it from the pool. I mean, just, <laughs> just buy another one. It's yeah, a dollar, right? That's right. That's right. So, basically what we have here are the boots. And all we're doing, it helps uh, if your hiking boots have good ankle support like these do. Kind of creates a, a rigid structure to support this pool noodle, basically. And, uh, I'm just going to speed lace it here. Basically all that's doing is just supporting that pool noodle so it doesn't go anywhere. And it's also given a great platform for a place to store your boots. Now you can already see what we've got going here. As you guys try this mod out, you have to trim that pool noodle down to get to the, the right height inside your bivy. All right, and now, moment of truth. Up here is the top of the bivy. Basically, all you do is lay that out. Now this takes a lot of uh, playing around with. You need to definitely adjust this thing when you get in. After you've done it a few times, you kind of get the idea of where you want this thing. Me, I like it a little more under my shoulder or by my shoulders. Uh, Dad tends to push it out a little more. So. Basically all I'm doing right here is just going ahead and attaching the hood down to this Velcro piece. Zip it up.
Now again, it does take a little adjustment once you get inside. The way I like to have it is uh, the boots as far forward as possible. The pool noodle leaning forward right along this uh, tape seam of the Gore-Tex bivy. As you can see, we solved that little riddle. That's a little hack I've been using for a while. I like it. Pool noodle comes in handy. It's just, and again, it's a dollar. Now, if you're really nifty, you're really handy, you can uh, cut, uh, find your piece of green wood. Cut that to length and do the same thing. Part of what makes that system work, though, are the boots because of the ankle support. It'd be worth trying with the. Uh, you can see there. Basically, uh, a trick that I've found: you basically get the toe of this of these boots, basically sitting uh, right on or just on top of, uh, or would, uh, just just forward of your uh, shoulders here, tends to give a good uh, spacing. And then you basically just kind of lean this thing forward, like Dave was talking about. To meet up with the seam of that Gore-Tex bivy. Uh, of course you could always throw some uh, Walmart bags, some basically just grocery store bags, food line, whatever, around these boots to keep them obviously from you know getting all the mud and the, especially if they're soaking wet, something like that, keeping them off of you and off of the inside of the bivy. Because the last thing you want to do is get your bivy all dirty, your bags all dirty. So if you keep it clean, uh, and uh, keep condensation from building up. It's a neat little hack. Now. Uh, it should go a long way. But wait, there's more. Climate drift. <laughs> I am super proud of this thing. In the all-powerful <laughs> jacket liner. <laughs> Pillowcase. Uh, Pillowcase here. Now, uh, you can do a couple things with this. You can. Uh, well, hold on. A little history here. In my search for the perfect camp pillow, I went through a bunch of different pillows. My initial pillow was a, a pillow I was gonna make using this. Old jacket liner, cut it up, and was gonna stuff other pieces of jacket liner in it to get the uh, perfect pillow. Well, and it didn't work out very well. So, kinda put that to the side. Then I found the climate drift. Now, Dad's done something pretty cool in this one uh, well, for this specific use. He's taking the climate strap here and uh, basically just cinched that down. Mm -hmm. And you can actually roll with it either way. You can have it, you know, all the way expanded out, or you can have it compact down like this because it just happens to fit. And it fits in there perfect. In between those. <laughs> now, honestly. Uh, for a little more comfort, you can take that strap off, and the pillow would just kind of curve up around the edges of the boot, uh, as you can see right here. And basically, you have a nice little uh, cradle right there, so you can really go either way. Both ways are pretty comfortable. If you uh, want something really super, super duper nice, uh, go ahead and put it uh, inside uh, that. I, I, again, oh, look, I even, I even sewed the buttons on there. Check this out. Put that in there. You guys can't tell I'm proud of this. Ha! Man. That's it's a thing of beauty. It adds a little extra warmth, too. It certainly does. It keeps a little more com uh, structure, not comfort. Well, actually, it does add some comfort, too. But it uh, keeps some more structure to the pillow there as well. And I put these ends on. It's on these ends on to keep uh, whatever material I had in there from coming out of the ends. And it holds that climate drift pillow in there perfectly. Hot dog. <laughs> now, let's go back in. <laughs> and part of the beauty of this too is using the speed lace method on your boots 
if you have to get out really quick, put your boots on, there they are. They're protected, they're out of the elements, and they're getting wet. They're also, they, you know, they stay warm just from your, now warm is a relative term. Uh, they stay warm because they're inside the bivy with you, and your body heat is keeping things at uh, a little above ambient temperature a little above outside ambient temperature. Folks, the system is not perfect. Certainly not perfect. But just that $1 little mod makes this bivy an excellent, excellent bug out bag shelter. It really puts it back into discussion of, you know, it's, it's, it's heavier than your SOL bivvies. But honestly, this is the one I'm going with if I don't have my IBC handy. Now my IBC, Gabriel has one as well, those uh, improved bivy covers, the Coyote Brown ones, the Coyote Brown ones, in my mind are about as, as perfect as you're gonna get. The beauty of this though, you can find these relatively cheap. Uh, so where you might be able to buy, well, of course price, again, price is a relative thing, but uh, or you might only be able to buy one IBC, you might can buy two of these. That's right. So, really looking at uh, what would I rather throw in the truck? What would I rather throw in a get home bag? But, you know, that's something you'll have to think about as well. This cheap pack, again, in a pack, this adds extra flotation. You use the right color, it can even be used to help signal. Uh, I mean, there's endless uses for this stuff. Uh, I mean, and it really just, it works out great. So, overall, I really like the structure that this adds to. Now, one thing you're not going to get, and that's just the, with the design of the bivy, you don't have that mesh over your face as you do in the new IBC. Now, that mesh allows for extra breathability capability, breathability capability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> extra extra breathability in the bag uh, because you can unzip that little piece of mesh. Uh, well, in this case, you know, you just have to move the hood back a little bit and kind of figure, sleep, here's the big thing, the big takeaway from this. In order for these bivvies to work for you, you're going to have to use these. You're going to have to go camp in them. You're going to have right. to see, you know, four seasons. Because What's working this, for you? Keep in mind, these bivvies will add extra warmth. They will. So, whereas you might you know, really be rocking three layers of clothing, extreme cold weather bag. You get in one of these things, you might need to take a layer of clothing off. That's right. You know, what you normally would be sleeping in a tent with or just under a tarp, uh, you might, you know, you just scale it to you. So, like Dad mentioned, test your gear, uh, figure out what works for you. For us, this. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap and easy. Oh, man. <laughs> and with the... <laughs> With the climate drift and oh, a man. jacket liner pillowcase. Well, all in all, I'm impressed with this. I didn't like it at first. When I first tried it out, it, uh, you know, it's... It seems it flimsy. A, it takes a little time. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you have to spend some time with it, figure out where you like it. But uh, after trying it out, after working with it a little bit, I really do like it. And again, $1 or for free if you already have one of these things laying around at your house or with the use of a green stick, so it can be you know, completely free. Kind of hard to beat this, guys. Just for comparison's sake, we're gonna show you guys the IBC. Now the finicky part with this uh, IBC, you're basically gonna have to adjust this wire every time, which I, I wouldn't really call it finicky, honestly. I mean, that's just the design of the system there. But it's neat because you can collapse it down and still get that good rigid platform. What Gabriel's doing now is not trying to, he's not trying to rip the bag open, he's not trying to get out. What he's doing now is shaping the wire here that goes across your face, keeps the material of the bivy off of your nose. And you shape the crown of it here. It also has one in the back. And the material that he just unzipped is uh, more of the 
bevy material there keeps the rain off your face. So as you can see, during the summertime months, being able to roll that piece of material down, extremely nice. You don't get that in the MMSS. So what you see here, they have the copper wires in this. And that uh, adds a, a very nice platform to be able to keep this up off your face with. Now, another thing you might be asking yourself, well, you had the boots in the MMSS, what about in the new and improved bivy? Well, as you can see, there is plenty of room on the inside of this, going straight up for boots, all kinds of stuff. And then even with the sleeping bag in here, you still have enough room. So, as you can see, it's really uh, just a pick of which one you have and which one is your favorite. If you already have an IBC, I really don't see the reason of buying an MMSS to replace it with or something like that, just to be able to use the uh, pool noodle system. <laughs> but uh, if you have an MMSS, I think the pool noodle system is the way to go, without a doubt. And uh, here you have it. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of the MMSS and the IBC, some of the differences uh, between them, and uh, some, some mods that you can do, maybe even a, a size representation here, so you can uh, realize that you can still fit the uh, boots inside of the IBC here. And again, $1 pool noodle. <laughs> Looks crazy, but it works great. So hopefully you've taken some inspiration today. Hopefully you uh, try out this $1 mod. It really does work great, and again, gives you a lot of extra benefits. So, we thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure to hit that applaud button. As always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. And God bless.